Hello guys, this is Deathproof and uh, we're gonna play Marvel Future Fight and in today's video I'm gonna continue showcasing characters in stage 1 of Null and in the previous video I show up some proc friendly characters like Battery Bill, like Sentry and some CDP of Energy characters like Gambit, Moon Knight, Sharon Rogers and Moonstone so for th for this video I'm gonna showcase uh, some raids only characters like uh, Odin you can't proc with uh, his skills and I'm gonna uh, I'm I was uh, using him for a male character in stage 10 and he was helping me a lot with the CTP of raids but now his place uh, have taken from now <laughs> the character I mean <laughs> not the uh, boss and you're seeing his stats it's pretty pretty good he got loads of uh, Odin's blessing he got a CTP of raids and his build it's pretty good I'm gonna use no strikers I'm gonna use no support or leaderships just to see the raw damage of him do through the first phase of the fight so his rotation is pretty easy, you're doing the 5th skill, you're seeing him being huge and after you're cancelling into 3 and after the 4th skill. As you saw, I didn't get the proc here <laughs> and that's the bad thing with the characters that has no guarding critical rate and you need to have cap critical and you need to be lucky to get the critical for the proc of the raids. You saw the raid proc, it's in the end here. I'm, I'm having the proc during the clear cades and not during my DPS, but it's okay. You're seeing you, you don't need to be so specific with the rage proc because uh, you're taking buff, you're taking proc uh, even for two seconds or something. Yeah, here the proc is fine. So after I'm doing the six skill, I'm doing the four skill because uh, the damage is spiking, as you can see. The third skill is the accumulation. When you use your third skill, you, the character is accumulates all the damage you're doing from there. And you're seeing here one minute and ten seconds for him with uh, that bad uh, rotations and uh, with uh, like two procs lost. 1 minute and 10 seconds for Rodin. Let's see here how his son's gonna go. And let's check uh, my Thor. My Thor got a CTP of raids and he's pretty meta for ABX uh, Paralyzed Season. And I'm using him there. You're seeing his mythic uniform and he got like stage 12 Power of Hungry Hulk. He got some Odin's Blessing, I think. No, there's no Odin's Blessing. Urus are stage 5 or 6, rank 6 or 5. And he got uh, semi good build. But uh, I think his damage is a bit better from Odin uh, because I'm uh, doing the rotation easiest, I think. His rotation is pretty simple. You're doing 3, cancel 5, after that you're letting your 4 skill until the end and you're doing your 2nd skill just to avoid all the environmental damage here and there. And with this character I like using my my awakening also because and here in the clader you're using your 6th skill and you're taking no stun. I'm doing it all the time that one and I'm I'm having a lot of uh, less time waiting in the clear cages because I'm the, from the guys that uh, always taking all the clear cages <laughs> and I'm not running around. I'm doing it with some characters and if there is a second skill up and you can avoid it so easy like I did here, I'm doing it also. And you're seeing you you want your four skill place until the end and the guy drops the, his hammer because if he, he dropped the hammer you're seeing uh, the, the, the true accumulation buff if you don't let him you're taking like the half of the buff so you saw here it's uh, he seems pretty good he seems so good and the damage looks amazing all the buffs all the 
all the images and the lighting here and there makes me stand. I mean, I'm looking me, I'm looking my characters, reacting and going here and there with all these lightings, and I like it very much. But uh, it's like five seconds less damage than Odin. So just to know, and you can play him with a proc, but. Uh, there is so many skills that do a lot of damage that I don't want to waste them through one proc. So I prefer playing him with uh, the raids. I did a showcase video for him with uh, with the Nobelisk uh, when uh, his uh, uniform comes, games. But uh, I'm not. Uh, from there, I, I did put him in raids and I'm playing him with raids. And now let's check out the best of the best, the, be <laughs> the guy that uh, led me to clear stage 14 for male characters and I've got him pretty stacked, he's capped on everything that matters in uh, PvE and he got like a 6 or 4, or... no it's like 3 and 2 and 3, 3, 4, 10 Odin Blessing. 10 on the blessing, yeah, stage 12 overdrive, CTP of raids, and his gears, it's not 25, uh, you can see 24 here and 23 here, but uh, this gears has nothing to do with his damage, and he is the best for me, I can use him pretty, pretty nice, and you can avoid the clean door cage with his 6 skill, but I'm always out of... Uh, <laughs> out of uh, cooldown for his uh, 6 skill and I'm always losing it I'm doing the 4 skill, I'm seeing the drakes popping up and after that I'm doing the 5 skill when you see the sword comes here you're cancelling... ah... Uh, I, I didn't manage to do my 6 skill during the clean dark gates to avoid it here you're seeing the drakes and the slash from the sword and after that I'm feeling all the time with my 2nd skill I, the third skill it's a filler also and here you see the the guy did my the clean, his clean dark cage but I use my six skill and I avoid the stun and you can see here why the character is my favorite his damage is insane he's doing faster than moonstone uh, no no faster than moonstone but uh, faster than everyone with the mighty energy and faster than everyone with the rage and I lost some time there with uh, one clean dark cage in the start so I can manage to do it even faster and for me now it's the best because uh, his passive ability that uh, is not letting him die helping you in the last phase doing more damage and helping you generally in, av in avoidance of uh, environmental environmental hazards here and there you're seeing the buff here with the chain hit damage so you can assume that with the CTP of energy he can be pretty good also and the pierce damage and the buff that it's not letting him die it's the that one uh, it's insane I mean every two sec every two minutes you can you can't die for six seconds and your HP comes back after six seconds again. <laughs> So I'm gonna showcase some more CTP of Rage characters and let's see what I can use. Yes, let's see Medusa. I've seen people asking about Medusa and ABX and Knall and if she worth, if she worth uh, Awakening and if she worth CTP of Rage. For me, she's a support and I'm not using it that, that much. I'm doing the her fourth skill after the third skill just to uh, her CTP of Rage procs. But as you can see here, there is no proc. <laughs> I didn't manage to proc here. So let's see again with the fifth skill. Yes, first proc in the, in the game after 20 seconds. So you can see why I didn't like her so much. He, she has no guarding critical rate like other characters got and you're seeing here, here proxies and I'm in the raid so I'm gonna use her awakening because her awakening is fast yes, one minute left in raid, one second I mean and here again proc 
I am doing only here third skill and cancelling into fifth skill and after that I'm doing the awakening and after the awakening I'm doing the fourth skill. Here you're seeing the third skill got the accumulation buff so you want to do it before every big skill like five skill or six skill and here I'm gonna wait yes CDP of rage is up and I'm using the awakening. You need to wait for the awakening until the end because in the end uh, there is some damage coming here and there. And you can see here, she's struggling. <laughs> it's uh, the worst until now for, for CTP of energy or CTP of uh, raids. She did 1 minute and 20 seconds, I guess. And she's good, okay. I did the. Uh, I'm doing with her in ABX like 4 million, but uh, she's not good. With uh, Captain Marvel, I used to do like 5 million. She's doing like 1 million less than Captain Marvel solo. I have no audience blessing out here, and her stats, it's pretty capped on everything that matters. And the CDP of Rage here, here, Power of Hunger Health stage 11. So there is no excuses. <laughs> it's she's just bad. And what else CDP of Rage I could show off? I mean there is Apocalypse or Valkyrie. And let's see Valkyrie first. Uh, let's I'm gonna show her build after. Valkyrie it's pretty much the same with Medusa. You're doing the accumulation skill, the third skill, and after that you're letting your awakening skill you're with you're letting your fifth skill uh, proking the rage and after that you're casting your awakening let's see here it's three cancel five until the oh i get kicked okay there is some time for the raids yes some time and the proc is here again let's use our fifth skill for the proc it's not good your best skill to use uh, if not the awakening is the fourth skill to to take advantage of the damage of the proc and you can see here i'm on raids uh, i get kicked away again and let's see the valkyrs here gonna impact for the CDP of raids, you're seeing the raids is up, and after you're seeing the colors, the triangles, you you can cancel your awakening skill, and you can do all that stuff. Nope, I am stunned in front of him, <laughs> and I'm not good playing uh, now uh, with uh, Medusa and Valkyrie because I'm using here like uh, from leadership and support only, so. Sorry guys for the bad rotations, but uh, you can see, you can understand the damage she's doing. You're seeing the bars melting when uh, my rotation is good, and she's even, uh, you know, she's in the same place with Medusa for me. One minute and twenty seconds, and of course I've practiced a lot with Thor, but uh, I mean the thirty seconds difference and the twenty seconds difference I'm seeing here, it's the real case, guys. Perhaps it's not perfect, but uh, it's kind of the real case. So let's see what else. Uh, let's see her build because we didn't show her build. Her build it's pretty capped on everything. I'm using her in ABX also, and she got like she's missing like some moves, but uh, he she got one Odin's blessing to fix the missing ones, I guess. Stage eleven, power of hungry Hulk and uh, CTP of raids. Here's her uniform. I think it's legendary. Yes, I'm missing the last one. I'm, I'm out of BIOS and out of subscription for BIOS. So, and let's see the last one. I want to showcase the last raids I've got, and I didn't show. I think it's on Apocalypse. Yes, it's an Apocalypse. And there is another character there that uh, I could uh, showcase in uh, proc in the first video with the procs. It's the Scarlet Witch. I've got here a mind damage proc obelisk, and she's doing pretty good also. But no one is using her, and she's I mean off the meta at the moment. So 
if she gets a uniform from her so the one division so I'm gonna see if uh, she's worth to make a video for her and you are seeing my apocalypse with uh, my rotation with apocalypse it's four cancel fifth skill until the apocalypse getting bigger and after that the six the sixth skill you are waiting him to see uh, to show to point uh, now with his fingers i mean where he when he is up in the sky and he's throwing this meteor you can see him point the enemy with his finger here and after that you can cancel the skill and the fourth skill you need uh, to see the bubble popping up and the fourth the four the fifth skill you are seeing him being huge to cancel i mean and he's pretty fast he can avoid all the the wheels around he can move his body really fast and he's fat but uh, he's moving fast and you can see here he's one of the worst <laughs> i mean he has no raw damage at all and his uh, six skill it's pretty bad i mean i was trying to do the stage nine clears with him and two supports but it, there, there was no way doing it and that's why i used the moonstone there for the uh, the how to the challenge for completing in stage nine so you can play the stage ten in now and you can see guys I'm I've got the worst the worst uh, results from every character he, he's doing it slower than a simple proc uh, battery bill <laughs> and he got a raid. I mean it's insane yes I know and perhaps I'm doing that wrong rotation or something it's wrong with my fingers here but uh, I'm not pressing the buttons fast I don't know what to say but you can see he's pretty bad and that's why I I was believing that uh, he could take a he could take a uniform and make him more relative in the down effects but uh, they skip him at the moment I hope in the middle of the month he took a new uniform or something buff for him he got a really cool outfit in uh, down effects comics um, uh, I've buy I've buy as far until the issue 11 of down effects and let's see his rotate his build I mean he's pretty stacked up guys he got everything capped and he got like uh, one, two, three, four, five, six Odin's Blessing, CD of Raids, Mythic Uniform, Stage 11 Power of Hungry Hulk, and he's that bad. <laughs> I don't know why he's that bad, but uh, he is. And just to see, I did, I did what I did last night. I managed to clear Stage. 15 with Moonstone and I'm struggling during stage 16 at the moment and you can see here you can use only humans you can use only humans and human it's all these characters here it's uh, for me it's like 9 12 15 it's like 15 characters that you can use at the moment so Thank you guys for being here and thank you for uh, Fluffy for your idea in the, the video. Sorry for me butchering your name and guys comment if you want to see something special like Fluffy did and like the video, share if you want to share with your friends and subscribe if you want to follow up all the content I'm gonna upload for the new down effects cable uh, uniform and tier 3 him in uh, the next day I think in follow up video I'm like 60 uh, out away thank you see you in the next video bye bye to everyone be nice and may the RNG be with you